What's up, Bishop Peeps? Today we got a new knot for you today. This knot is specifically for tying line to spools. It is called the Arbor Knot. So stick around and I'll show you how to tie it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me keep making wonderful content like this for you guys. Okay, so for today's video, I have my eye hook and I have some nylon string here that we're gonna tie this knot with, so let's get started. All right, so for the arbor knot, you're gonna need, oh, you don't really need this. Um, well, we, we can use it for this, these purposes. We'll just use this in as our spool side. That's what we'll do. Uh, some clippers or some uh, scissors or something. Uh, in this case, I have clippers. So in order to start your arbor knot, typically you're gonna run your line around your spool. You'll, you'll run it around your, you'll thread it, thread it through your, uh, thread it through one of your guides. And then uh, if, you, if you're using a spinning reel, you're gonna have your bell open and then you're going to tie it to your spool. Or if it's a bait caster, you're gonna thread it through the, your line guide on your bait caster and then around your spool before you do this. So we're gonna pretend like we have it around our spool already, like that. Okay, that's how we would normally do it, but for the intents and purposes of this video, I'm gonna put this guy to the side. And there you go. We're gonna make a little loop like, hey, we, this is where our spool would be. And we're gonna need to tie a knot a square knot around this line using this line. One that's going to be easy, that will easily slide up and down. So we're just going to tie a square knot over itself like this. Just like that. All right, at this point, you might want to cinch it down just a little bit. Pretty tight. Now, if we tried to tighten it like this, you wouldn't have a complete arbor knot and this guy is actually going to pull through for fishing line. It'll pull through and you won't have your knot. So you need to tie another square knot on your tag end. Just like so. Boom. This is one of the reasons why you want clippers because you don't want this guy Having such a long tag in. Clip, there you go. And now it won't pull through your original square knot and we're able to tighten it down on our spool. So let's, let's tighten her on down. Got it around my, my makeshift spool here. It's tight. now. See if I can get it tight on the screen here. Nope, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Nylon strings get a lot more friction than, let's say, mono or uh, braid or fluorocarbon. No, I'm not gonna be able to actually cinch it all the way down. Too much friction in in the knots here. But normally this guy right here will pull all the way down to your spool. And you'll have a nice tight line here. And one of my tips is when you're spooling up a uh, line on your bait caster or your spinning reel, is once that's done, cut it to a little bit of uh, black tape, black electrical tape, put it right on your spool to hold this guy down, and that'll keep your line from spinning on your spool. Uh, especially useful for braid. Braid has a bad habit of spinning like that. but. That'll, uh, that's how you tie the arbor knot. All right guys, so we got our little makeshift arbor knot completed. Hopefully I taught you how to tie the arbor knot on your spools and gave you a little tip on how to keep your line from slipping. But until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.